All right, thank you. So we have a very special speaker. Um, Hamza al Hadiri flew out here from San Francisco to speak with us and is immediately turning back around to fly out. So we really appreciate him coming out for us. He is um, he's a refugee from Iraq who is since gotten his U.S. citizenship, so he gets to connect those two pieces for us and really give us that dynamic and that experience, all right? So here's Hamza to share with us. Thank you, thank you. It's a great honor. I'm so proud to be here right now. I really couldn't prefer to be anywhere else. This is the best place to be. Um, thank you for giving me the time here. I really want to get one message across and spread it around the world. Uh, my name is Hamza. Uh, I was born and raised in Baghdad, Iraq. And I moved, thank you. And I moved here to the US in 2008 as a refugee. My family and I escaped Iraq because there was a lot of terrorism. And we didn't leave until it started personally affecting us. And we didn't come here for a better life. Like all immigrants, and like all refugees, we didn't come here for a better life. We came here for a life. A life! That's all we wanted. That's right! All we wanted was a life. A life! Now, my country is under attack and we're banned from entering the country now. And this is really sad to me. No ban! Because we're not a country of terrorism. We're a country that fights terrorism. We preach life. We teach our children how to love life despite how bad it is sometimes. We teach people to love one another. We preach education. We carry that education with us everywhere we go. Like all immigrants, like most, like all refugees, we come here, we come here and we bring that education with us. We come here and we bring these values with us. Like everywhere else in the world. If you look at this country here in the US, you will see that immigrants and refugees, they enhance the society here. It's not a matter of being an extra person here. We're enhancing the lives of others, including our own. And it is a great honor to be here in this country and to be a citizen of this country. And because I am a citizen of this country, as well as Iraq, it is my duty to stand up for anyone and everyone that has their rights on the line. We, we the people, are much stronger than any administration. We are not going to allow the White House administration to reflect our values and define who we are. We're not gonna let this administration do it. We're not gonna let any other administration do it. We reflect our values. Our values are stated loud and clear. Give me your poor, give me your tired. Give me your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. That's who we are. We stand together today. We are united. We are strong. And this, this is what the world sees. That's who we are. We are together. We're here for one another. I am here for you, no matter who you are and what you believe in and what your gender is and what is your orientation. We are all one. We are all human. Thank you. Thank you.